this is Sam Drogi with the Bee Inventory and Monitoring Lab and we have a quick video on how to cut labels. Cutting labels may sound like something pretty trivial but it turns out if you have lots of specimens you're going to spend a lot of time doing it and this is what we have come up with as the fastest technique for cutting out as many labels as possible and increasing your insects per minute. The first step in the bee labeling process is cutting. You want to start by isolating the set of labels for the batch of bees you want to label. Then you want to cut the excess paper from around the label and cut in between the rows of the labels. When cutting, make sure to avoid cutting the matrix. It is important for scanning. Now cut all the way across and stop a little before you reach the end. This will help keep the labels together on the cutting board. Once that is done, place the labels at the edge of the cutting board for easy access to the labels. Next is pinning. You want to take each label, you want to take each pin with the specimen on it and place it through the middle of the label with the head facing the matrix. It will help to sort the bees while you pin them to help with identification later. Next is more cutting. So you want to snip the sections where the rows are still attached and cut along the columns. It is best to snip between the labels for easy cutting. Finally, you want to take the pins and put them back in their original spot. Whether the labels are horizontal or vertical doesn't matter. It's up to you. Instead of having to transfer the bees in and out of the boxes, you can save even more time in the bee labeling process by cutting inside the box. However, keep in mind that the space you have to work with is limited. Now you would cut the labels in the same way that you did last time, but you would cut the rows individually and leaving space in between them when you lay them inside the box. Laying the labels horizontally will give you more space when cutting. Now all you simply do is pin the bees through the labels as you would before and then snip through the labels. However, cutting each row at a time will help with preventing any accidents such as breaking specimens. 